Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm back with another savory recipe for you guys and I'll show you how I make my spinach chicken salad. I absolutely love the salad. It's made with juicy chicken breast, avocado, pears, cheese, dried cranberries, pecans, and a homemade balsamic dressing. All these ingredients come together to create one incredibly delicious salad recipe that you guys are going to love. Now this recipe can be made with two types of chicken. You could buy a rotisserie chicken on your way home from the grocery store and use that chicken breast, or you could prepare the chicken breast at home, which I will show you how to do today. It's super easy, really delicious, and it adds so much incredible flavor. Let me show you how to put the salad together. And this chicken breast recipe is super, super easy. I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to finish the chicken in the oven. I have my pan preheating to medium high heat. I'm going to add in a little drizzle of oil into my pan. And today I'm going to be preparing two large chicken breasts. I'm going to drop them into the hot pan. And I'm going to season this chicken generously with salt. Add in a little bit of ground black pepper. And a touch of paprika. I'm going to fry my chicken breast for about three to four minutes per side. I want the chicken breast to be nicely brown and then we'll transfer into the oven to finish cooking. And my chicken breast is ready to go into my preheated oven and I'm going to finish cooking it in the oven. So the larger chicken breasts that I have here will probably take an additional 12 to 15 minutes and then the smaller breasts can take maybe seven to eight minutes. You want the internal temperature of the chicken to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I always like to use a little thermometer to make sure that my chicken is cooked to the proper temperature. And then we'll come back to finish up our salad. I'm going to get started with my simple dressing. So into my measuring cup, I'm going to add in about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Next, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar and a teaspoon of my favorite honey. And this is a Hawaiian honey brand. I absolutely love their honey. I'm going to leave an order link down in the video description box below. Really, really good stuff. A little bit more, maybe two teaspoons. Add in a pinch of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. And now this next ingredient is optional, but I also like to add in a tablespoon of poppy seeds. And then grab a whisk and mix this vigorously for about a minute until you have a thick and uniform dressing. My chicken is all done and I've let it rest for about five minutes now. I'm going to grab a sharp knife and slice the chicken breast into bite-sized pieces. Next up, we have our avocado. So I'm going to slice this avocado first in half. Grab a spoon and scoop it out. And I've placed my avocados lengthwise, you want it to be longer, and then grab a sharp knife and thinly, thinly slice it. And it's helpful if you hold it from the other side as well. For my salad, I'm going to grab a large platter and cover it completely with some fresh baby spinach. I love to have a ton of lettuce in my salad, so I always like to add just a lot of it. And I'm going to transfer the chicken directly from the cutting board onto my spinach. And you could kind of fan it out for a prettier presentation. And I'm going to fan out the avocado and add it to my salad. And now for the rest of my salad ingredients, I've chopped up two large pears. I'm going to add that right into the salad.
some dried cranberries, chopped pecans, and some crumbled blue cheese. And once you have that salad assembled, just gently drizzle that salad dressing over the chicken and the avocado. And that's it guys for my spinach chicken salad. For the full recipe, just head on down into that video description box. I've left a link there that'll take you over to my website so you can print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. Now it's time to enjoy. I have a little bit of that dressing left over on the side. You can just enjoy it as needed. Now this salad recipe is pretty big, so if you wanna serve it as like a salad at the beginning of a meal, this will feed four to five people. And then if you wanna do this just as, um, as an entree, this will be perfect for two people. Now time to dig in and enjoy. I just love this combination of the chicken with the avocado um, and the creamy cheese. This is gonna be so, so delicious. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in there and some spinach. Now you can also use um, like arugula or a spring mix or even romaine lettuce if you don't like spinach. Mm -hmm. And the trick to really enjoying this salad is getting a little bit of everything, a little bit of that chicken and cheese and avocado, meld it all together and it just tastes so incredibly delicious. You guys are going to fall head over heels in love with this easy chicken salad. Don't forget the full recipe is down in the video description box below. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe next time you're looking for one incredible delicious salad. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video.